Hello guys, what is up? It is iPod Touch Bob, and today I'm going to come back to you guys with another review, and this is going to be a review of the Odyssey Lower East Side Media Speakers. Now these are speakers that hook up to your computer, your TV, your iPhone, your iPod, whatever you want to hook them up to, they'll be able to perform your audio needs for you. Uh, they also boast the ability to sound good while listening to bass intensive songs, even though they don't hook up to a subwoofer. So I'll let you guys know if that is right or if that is wrong, um, but they retail for $176 on Amazon, or you can pick them up for $250 on their website i think the pricing is wrong on their website because i saw an ad on youtube that said that they were 169 but I'll, I'll include the cheapest link in the description below so just check down there and you can check out their website and where to buy these from so anyways let's just go ahead and jump right into this review and i'll tell you if these are worth your money Alrighty guys, so let's take a look at what comes in the packaging when you purchase the speakers. Um, so obviously the first thing that you're going to get is the speakers themselves. They look really nice. Uh, honestly, in my opinion, they look a little hipsterish if that's the right definition of them. But they look pretty cool and classy. Um, so those are the first thing you're going to get. Obviously, we'll take a closer look at them in a second. Um, the next thing you're going to get is the DC adapter. This is actually the brick. Um, these speakers do need to be powered. They're not going to be able to run off USB or anything like that. So you got to plug them in the wall. they got a pretty big power brick that runs into the speakers, and then also it comes with the wall charger. Um, next up, you're going to get the old-fashioned style cables. These aren't on most speakers nowadays that you're going to have to use, but these are actually the cables that are going to plug from your left speaker into your right speaker to give them both power and also to get the audio to travel from the one speaker to the other. So these are actually kind of weird wires. Um, it's not that big of a deal, but you don't see these in too many speakers nowadays. Um, finally, the last thing you're going to get or the last two things you're going to get is the AV cable. This is just like an audio cable that plugs into your iPod or like your computer. And then finally, the last thing you're going to get is the literature, which is like the manual and the warranty information. But that's basically all you're going to get in the packaging. All right, so now let's take a closer look at the speakers themselves. In my opinion, they look pretty nice. Uh, they look pretty snazzy, just in my personal opinion. I think that I really like the red accent on them with the black. It looks pretty cool. But anyways, let's take a closer look at the speakers. Um, we'll start in the front and move to the back. If you look at the very front of these speakers, you can see that on the main speaker, we're going to get two things. We're going to get our headphone jack. This is basically to input headphones if you want to stop playing the music out loud. You can put in headphones, and it will go directly to the headphones instead of out the speakers. And then you're also going to get a volume adjustment button that also functions as a power switch. So you press down, it'll turn it on and off, and then you can rotate it for the volume. But that's all you're going to get on the front of the main speaker. If you look at the bottom of the speaker, you're going to find rubber feet. This is so that your speaker isn't scratching your desk, so it's necessary for these to be on there. Um, also, where the rubber feet are, you're going to see the actual stand for the speakers. It's really nice. It's a metal stand, so it's pretty high quality. And it's got a unique design because it puts the speakers at an angle. They're kind of facing. They're a little bit slanted. And then also, the stand runs all the way around the speakers to give it a little bit more of a modern look. If you look at the where the red accent is, that is part of the stand. So it just kind of is a little bit of an accent and uh, gives the speakers a more modern design. Now looking at the back of the main speaker, we're going to get a few things. We're going to get the speaker interconnector. This is to connect the speakers together. Uh, I mentioned that before. We're also going to get our optical input, our aux input, and our power input. So those are all on the back of the main speaker. All right, so that is pretty much all you're going to need to know control-wise for these speakers. Uh, that's pretty much all the inputs. Besides, on the other speaker that isn't the main one, all you're going to get on the back is the interconnecting cable inputs. Uh, there's nothing that you have to really worry about with that speaker. But let's go ahead and talk about some of the specs of these speakers. Uh, they do feature two 0.75-inch tweeters, two 3-inch subwoofers, and two 4-inch passive bass radiators. Now, the other thing that these feature are the Audi Odyssey um, speaker technology. It features Odyssey EQ, Odyssey Bass XT, and Odyssey Dynamic EQ. Now, all these things sort of come together to make the speakers provide the best audio quality possible. And the one that really gets my attention is the Bass XT. Now, these, like I said at the intro, um, boast the ability to sound good with bass when you don't even have a subwoofer. So they um, boast that you're able to listen to dub sub and stuff without even having a subwoofer, the bass will sound good. And I can't actually confirm that. Uh, the bass XT actually makes it sound pretty good. It doesn't honestly, in my opinion, sound as good as my subwoofer that I have at home, but it does sound pretty good for just some standalone speakers. Um, it's obviously not going to be as good as a uh, pretty decent subwoofer just because the subwoofer is specifically designed for that. But these speakers do actually sound good with dubstep and any kind of bass intensive songs just with the standalone speakers, which is really nice. So I can definitely tell you that when you're listening to bass intensive songs, you're going to get the best bass and audio quality possible with these speakers.
All right, so I've been using these speakers for about a month now, listening to a lot of different genres of music. Um, but I can tell you guys, after using these for a while, that these are definitely some really high quality speakers, especially for just being the speakers and not having a subwoofer or anything like that. These are really high quality. They're going to be able to provide you with a lot of bass, even without the subwoofer. It gives you great audio quality whenever you're listening to any type of music. But if you're worried about the bass drowning out the music, I can tell you that it honestly doesn't. It's a good, like middle ground for the for the bass and the uh, regular vocals it's not going to drown them out or anything like that it provides great audio quality for all types of genres of music so if you want to pick these up visit their website at odyssey.com there'll be a link down below to their website where you can check these out but i can tell you guys that these are definitely worth the money because they're really high quality speakers and they have a nice design to them so they look pretty cool whether you're whether they're on your desk or sitting you know like in your tv cabinet they're gonna look nice and they do provide great audio quality so check out their website, don't forget to thumbs up the video, leave a comment down below, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. See ya.